day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the west coast helping folks like us rebuild and they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, boys, just keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed. We need to get our people. And we need you to find a way out of here. I know that. Easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Find the armory. Gear up. Save as many people as we can. This way, Barnes. Stick with the gap. We should cut our losses and run. We'll be fine. More to be safe. Hey, Highway man territory. Everything you have is ours now. Me and my sister are coming for you. My God. There's a sandstorm coming. We're in big trouble. We get caught in that. We need to keep moving. Are you two problem makers? I don't understand! Oh, God! I'm not too bad! No, I don't want to stop! Are you fucking crazy? I don't know 
is happening around here? You think we wouldn't notice? What do you want, Barnes? We want to know if your problem solvers a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns, <laughs> anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. 
Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me, but Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. <gasps> OK. <laughs> You done? So, let's try this again. You gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? From the train, you're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we. We have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Hello, mister. Come on, we just need to fall. the train coming. I should have known better. Those fucking twins, Nikki and Lou. The first time I saw them was when they came to our house. I said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly or they burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to fight. So they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victim. But my mom and I reached the divers together and we all tried to get the police. Fuck. There's a tunnel up there that leads to Hope County. The highwaymen are blocking the land. We're gonna need some firepower. Let's keep moving. We need more resources. We're gonna have to poke around and...
find useful things almost anywhere. Go ahead and break the lock. All this stuff back to the workbench. I want to see what you can slap together. We're almost there.
home. I hope Mom is okay. Go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush? Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. Working my ass off here, but it feels worth it. Cap, have you got a minute? Hello, sir. I'd like to talk about something. Whatever else happens, I'm glad Carmina made it back. So, this is it. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Anytime you need a hand, give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Listen, you have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up with a change of clothes before we get started, there's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. Working my ass off here, but it feels worth it. I keep trying to tell people...
your own piss. It's the only sane way to stay hydrated these days. I've got some things to tell you. My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. I know you've already been through a lot, Captain. But the truth is, we need all the help we can get. And at the moment, you're it. We thought your people on that train were gonna give us an edge. We were all gonna work together to grow things, make things. We were gonna fight back against the twins. But all of that is gone now. So, it's up to us. We've got a lot of work to do. Let me show you how things work around here. This is Prosperity. If we're gonna have a fighting chance against the Highwaymen, the first thing we've gotta do is get this place up and running. We have several facilities to make Prosperity thrive. These are the places where you can craft weapons and vehicles, cultivate plants for health, and many other things. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. And here's where you can find specialists. People with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins. Bring them home and they'll make prosperity and you stronger. But without Thomas Rush, none of this is gonna work. He's built up settlements before, but without his knowledge, we won't be able to take Prosperity to the next level. Lately, the twins are sending a lot of prisoners to their coal mine. I'd start looking there. So, that's it. We rescue Rush, find people who can run the facilities, and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. If you can help us, we'll do everything we can to help you. I can't believe he made it out of that crash. So you come in with Kevin no. Hi. I heard about what happened. Sorry about your people, Captain. At least you ended up in the best place Hope County has to offer. <laughs> Trust me, I've seen the rest. Me? I'm Roger, Prosperity's personal pilot. Seriously, anytime you need a lift back to Prosperity, you can count on me. It's the least I can do for you, my friend. And, uh... If you want a little uh, extra, I can see to that too. I used to rip off highwaymen strongholds all over the country. Scored some really cool stuff. But ever since those Carlys the twins showed up, excuse my language, it's impossible to gather enough ethanol to fly outside of Hope County. Hey, I tell you what, if you can find me the fuel I need, we'll go rip off highwaymen together. It won't be easy, but trust me, it's worth the risk. Get me that ethanol, and you'll see what I'm talking about. Sir? Open the gates!
spread the good news that we got a maintenance spot for our vehicle. Great job getting that place back for us. We'll put the ethanol you got to good use. Now, you have two choices. You can keep the outpost, or you can scavenge it. That means the highwaymen will come back with tougher reinforcements. But if you take it again, you'll get more ethanol. I'm good, let's go. Those assholes can find another garage to go for the vehicles. This one's out. 